Hello friends, welcome to SourceCAD Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we will look at some of the modified tools in AutoCAD. These tools are Move, Copy, Stretch, Rotate, Mirror and Scale. We will look at these six modified tools which are in AutoCAD. So, let's start with Move tool. The first starting Move tool will make a few shapes. I got a rectangle here and a rectangle over here. Now, as you can see, that I have made these two geometries randomly without assigning any length or width to either of the rectangles. So now, click on Move tool and follow this command line. Now, this command line says select objects. So select the object which you want to move. I'll click on this and press enter. Now the command line is saying specify base point or displacement. So I will specify base point, the point from which I am going to pick this object. Now the command line has changed to specify second point. Now I will specify the second point where I, I like to paste this feature. In this case it is this point. Now. Let's use this command again, move, select object, press enter. Now, in this time, I am using this as my base point and here is the destination point. So, in this way, you can move any feature. Now, let's make a rectangle with a known length. For example, in this case, a rectangle of length 10 and width 5 units. Here is our rectangle. Now, I will make another rectangle over here, like this. Suppose I want to move this rectangle towards 5 units on this side. For that, I will select move command, select this object and press enter. Now, I will specify base point as mentioned here. Click on this point and click specify base point. And now, point towards the direction where you want to move. I am pointing towards the right direction in a horizontal way. And now I will type 5 enter. Now this rectangle moved 5 units towards right in the direction where I specified. You can move it in any direction by specifying it with your cursor. For example, I want to move it vertically upwards towards 5 units. So press 5 and enter. And here is drawing. Now, let's move on to copy command. In a similar way, you can use copy tool. For that, select this rectangle or any other geometry and use copy. Click on this. Now, select object, press enter. Now, specify base point and the destination point and the command will continue. Again, click and the command is continued again. You can click anywhere on the screen to make a copy of it. To terminate this command, press enter. Now let's use it again. Go to copy to select object, press enter. Now the base point. Now you can specify distance along any direction and the object will be copied at that specified distance. For example, in this case, I am specifying a distance of 10 units. Now this object is copied towards a distance of 10 unit and the distance of 10 unit is from this base point to this base point. Now let's move on to stretch to for explaining the stretch tool I'll make a geometry somewhat like this. Now suppose you have this kind of geometry and you want to stretch this portion of it. That means you want to increase the width of this gap. For that you will use stretch tool. Click on a stretch and now when you will expand this command line you will see an instruction saying select objects to stretch by crossing window or crossing polygon. That means you have to select 
this object using a crossing window. For those who don't know what a crossing window is, I will show you an example. When you click on the top of the screen and you scroll towards bottom, you will see a blue window with a solid line. It is called selection window. And when you click on the bottom and moving upwards, I mean, the green window will appear with dash line and this window is called crossing window. So you have to select this object with a crossing window and in a specific way. Now, click here and select it. Now, you can see here that the lines which I want to stretch are crossing this window. In this case, this line and this line is crossed by this window. And all other geometries are either enclosed in it or are outside. So, click on this. Now, press enter. Now, specify a base point and stretch it. Now, you can see that it's getting stretched. You can either contract or stretch it like this. You can even specify a fixed value. For example, select stretch, use a crossing window, enclose it like this, press enter. And now specify a value. In this case, I'm specifying a value of three units and it will be stretched towards right to a distance of three units. Let's use the stretch command again. Stretch, select object. Now, in this case, I am enclosing it like this and you will see that only this portion is stretched. Now, let's move on to rotate command. For that, I will make a single line. I will complete a single line which is horizontal. I'll click on rotate and follow this command line. It is saying select objects. So, select your object and hit enter. After that, saying specify base point so click on this point and here is your base point your base point will remain fixed and your line will rotate above that base point now it's saying specify rotation angle so all you have to do is specify a rotation angle in this case i'm specifying an angle of 30 degree and the line will be rotated towards 30 degree and the angle will be measured from positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise way let's do it again rotate select object hit enter this time i'm specifying the center point as base and now you can see that i can rotate it freely about its base point which is the center point again we can specify an angle but this time i'm specifying a negative angle of uh, say 40 degrees so it will make a line below this horizontal line now Again, we will use rotate command, select this, hit enter, specify base point, and now we will see these two options here. First, use copy. Once you use copy, just click on this or type C and hit enter. A new line will be created at the specified angle, and this original line will also be there. Right now, I am specifying angle of 30 degree, and here is the angle. Now, this line is here, and also the original line will remain at its place. We have one more command here that is reference. Let's use it. Suppose you want to rotate this line to this angle, to angle, and we don't know this angle even. So how will you, how you will rotate this line so that it aligns completely with this? For that, let's select rotate, select this object, and hit enter. Now specify base point. Now you can rotate it directly like this now go to reference specify this as a reference angle and now you can rotate it along with this line now once you reach here click and the line will align with our reference line let's move on to other tools that is mirror and scale For that we'll make a shape something like this now suppose i want to mirror this geometry about this mirroring line so once i mirror it a new object will be created here which is a mirror image of this object so let's do it start mirror command 
Now select the objects which you want to mirror. Select this and this and it end it. Now saying specify first point of mirror line. So here is the first point and here is the second point. Now it's saying erase those object. That means do you want to erase this object or do you want to create both? Firstly, I'll select no, that is by default no selected here, so hit enter and it will create two objects which are mirror image of each other about this mirroring line. Let's create it again. Go to mirror, select objects, press enter. Now click on this and this. Here is your mirroring line. This time I'm selecting yes. Once you click on yes, this object will be deleted and the mirror image will be created here. You don't require this mirroring line for making a mirror. So select mirror, select objects. Now you can specify a point anywhere on this plane and make a mirror line. You can even make a tilted mirror line like this and hit enter. And here is your mirror image. Now let's move on to the last tool that is the scale. For that I will make a rectangle of length 10 units and width 5 units. Now here is our rectangle. Let's use the scale tool. Once you use the scale tool, you can uniformly increase or decrease all dimensions of this rectangle using ratio. I'll show you the example. Select this object, hit enter, and specify base point. Here is the base point. You can specify any point as base point. I am specifying this one as base point. Now you can see that length and width of this rectangle is increasing with my cursor and it's saying specify scale factor. Once I enter in scale factor of 2, its length and width will uh, increase twice. That means its length will become 20 and width uh, obviously 10. If you specify a scale factor of 0.5, its all dimension will become half. And in a similar way, you can specify any scale factor and it will change accordingly. Right now, I am specifying a scale factor of 2 and press enter. Now, the length will be 20 units and width will be 10 units. You can even check it with annotations. You can see it's 20 units and this will obviously be 10 units. Now, let's look at other tools on scale. Select scale, press on this and hit enter now specify base point here also you will find copy and reference so first click on copy now you can make a copy of this image when you scale it now let's scale it to a unit or uh, to a ratio of 0.5 and hit enter now here is our original object and a new copy will be created which is of 0.5 uh, which is 0.5 times smaller than our original figure so it will happen only after selecting copy command from scale submenu. Select our last option that is the reference. Suppose you want to scale this rectangle exactly equal. You want to scale it so that it's this line will become exactly equal to this line. For that select the scale. Select this object. Hit enter. Now specify base point and now select reference. After selecting reference, specify reference length. In this case, I am specifying reference length like this. Now extend it. Extend it up to this length like this. And the length of the space will become completely equal to this line. And accordingly, its width will change. So this is how you will use all these six commands. If you like the videos and if you are benefited with it, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. There is a lot more to come from you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.